My name is Mitchell Hansen, and I am the horn player for the Red Rock Quintet. Today, I will be talking about what the expectations and the roles of the horn player are in a woodwind quintet. So, what is the role of the horning the quintet? Well, usually, the horn has a few different roles that can change based on the piece. However, they often break down into smaller ones, such as having the solo, being the accompaniment, having a duet with another instrument, and very commonly, assistance in the bass with the bassoon. Now, when playing in a woodwind quintet, the most important thing all horn players need to remember is to make sure you are not playing louder than any of the other instruments. Because the horn is a brass instrument and all the other instruments are woodwinds, naturally, our sound tends to be considerably louder than everybody else. So this can be fixed very easily by just holding the volume back one to two levels so you just don't overpower the other group members. Now, those types of roles that the horn can have, I'll go through them all individually. So, playing solo is one of the most important parts because the horn has a very mellow and dark timbre that contrasts with the much higher instruments, such as the flute, the oboe, and sometimes the clarinet when it's playing in the upper register. So having the horn play a solo is good because it has a very different timbre and sound than the other instruments, and it actually stands out very nicely. The horn can also play the accompaniment part very regularly. This works very well too because it has a darker, more mellow sound. It actually contrasts the much higher instruments and allows them to play solo very well also. Occasionally, the horn will have a duet with another instrument. This can happen between any of the instruments. Sometimes the horn and the flute will duet. Other times the horn and oboe will duet. But this can happen between the horn and any instrument, so it's not exclusive to just the ones I mentioned. This is really fun to do because you might not have the melody, but you might have the counter melody, or you might have the melody and they have the counter melody. Either way, it is very important to make sure the parts fit together nicely. Knowing how these parts fit together is very important in making the music become something more. And lastly, and the most common thing the horn players will have to do is play together with the bassoon. Now, more often than not, the bassoon plays the bass sound. So the horn is kind of like the tenor almost. Now, if that's confusing, I'll explain. The horn works with the bass and the bassoon to really help balance out the rest of the group. Since we're much lower instruments than the other ones, we're more of the low voices that really balance the upper voices. And the best way on being able to play successfully with your bassoon player is to work with your bassoon player. You have to know them well. You have to talk to them. And how do you do this? Well, sometimes that can be accomplished really well by working with them outside of quintet rehearsals. If you need to work with them on extra parts, feel free to work with your bassoon player with some one-on-one -on -one time because that can help bring the desired effect that we're all looking for. So if you put that all together and if you know what role you have, obviously the role will change depending on the piece, the final product that comes across can be played at an extremely high level and that'll definitely benefit the group. Thank you.